Hey guys, we're back with the MGB, and I just wanted to make another update video since I haven't made one since the beginning of this year. So first thing you'll notice is we have the headlights out and I've washed this, you know, easy stuff. And I have paint stripped the headlight rings so that they're actually chrome again. And we have the headlights ready to go in. We're just awaiting to get hardware, mainly the spring and the adjuster screws. We also have spark plugs ready too to go in and an oil filter and oil, but we'll get back to that. Um, we have the car outside again. It's just easier to work on. We broke a mirror already. Windows are up right now. And big thing you'll notice is we have seats. I don't know what your car they're out of, but we found them in a junkyard in Pueblo, which is surprising that they're not ripped everywhere. They need a bit of padding, but they work good. Everything works. We also got the handbrake back down. Still need to attach that. Dash is still down. It was up, and then we took it down again, and my glove box broke off. Um, it's kind of a mess in here. We did get gauges. So I have my speedometer and my fuel gauge. My water temperature gauge is sitting inside. And I gotta take off this line and replace it with the water temp gauge we have is an electronic one. So coming around the back, I also did these rings too. And the fuel filler neck is in with a fuel cap. Still don't have a license plate ring. Still don't have the exhaust tip on. Um, I bought a G for this and it didn't have tabs, so that's still not on. Um, in the back here, which if this doesn't crush my head would be nice. We need to get new ones of those or switch them to struts. We have um, the rear quarter glass under this wire. So need to do that at some point too. Still need door and window seals all around the car. We do have the fuel line, which in the one video is taking it off. Kind of a lazy video. But we do have fuel line in, which I will show you in a second. Problem with a dark colored car. Ow. Anyway, under here you can see we have our hard line running up to, we moved our regulator here and soft line through a filter to our carburetor. And we now have linkage running to that carburetor too. Um, what else? We're redoing a lot of wiring, which is what's taking a while. That and we just haven't done much. We're starting with the wires that had to run from all the way to the front to the back, so this being our longest wire for the um, left turn signal. And then, oh yeah, heater is in. Heater motor, blower motor works too. Still don't have an oil cap. Um, I 
took out the stupid oil drain thing and but we still don't have a breather on here either so that's just kind of running out here back inside the car I need to shim the pedal with some washers or something because it's really loose but it does work brake pedal and clutch both work but probably going to need to bleed the brake since the if you push down the pedal long enough it just goes to the floor like it's firm at first and then it just slowly goes to the floor we also need to get seat belts three point we'd like to get not like harnesses but just like and I don't want to get the retractable ones they have ones that are just like a lap belt how you pull it but there are three points and I think that's back there actually you can't see it because the bar is in the way back there I think is the third mount though for the seat belts with the wiring we're just gonna try to get um the fuel pump wired up and the ignition so that we can start it because it hasn't started in almost a year. It's been since I think August. So we're getting close to that though. There's a lot of waiting on the wiring. I don't remember why. Um, yeah, also still need to get turn signals too. Anyway. For some bonus content, if we go under the car. You can see those blocks under there, and I'm going to try to use less of them. And I'm going to start by getting a jack to make it easier to see and taking off the wheel. So, I'll get right into that. Alright, now that I've got the car up in the air and the wheels off, I can show you better what I mean. Or at least the rear of the car. So, as you can see, there are blocks here. And it's an axle overleaf setup, so that's why I jacked it up. I couldn't jack it up on the actual points just because um, it's like the center of the car. But I've got it on like the leaf spring supports down there where it's flat-ish. So, the reason I'm doing this is because, oops, I just bumped the camera. Lots of blocks in here. I'm gonna try to keep the uh, swing arm uh, damper at the same geometry because I don't want to mess up the geometry. But you can kind of see that our sway bar is angled down, which I mean it might be supposed to be, but these also, mainly just the blocks, I can take the um, sway bar off if it doesn't work. But my plan is, I'm going to mark on this U-bolt, which these U-bolt bolts are going to be too long to, so I'll have to replace that at some time. Mark on the U-bolt about the center of where this is, on both sides. And then I'm going to take these off and switch them with each side so that this faces 
down and then I can take out some of these blocks. So I will set up a camera on the one side and get to work. seem to have run into a problem of on both of these um, uh, sorry I'm losing my thought um, on both of these dampers these bolts are just spinning or the nut is spinning with the bolt and I don't know if they're supposed to do that or what, but I'm going to go let the camera charge and get a new SD card and try to figure this out in the meantime. If I do figure it out, I'll be back. As you may or may not be able to tell, it's already a lot later and we could not get this bolt to come loose at all. So, we're gonna put it all back together. Yay! And also, I can't knock out any of the blocks because they're held in by a thing in the center, so. Let's get to it. Now that this is all back together, I mean, minus the wheels, I still gotta do that. Basically, we're gonna wait until, you know, I don't even know one. Not really a right now job because we'd have to just cut off this bolt and we don't really wanna deal with any of the other bolts right now and they're all pretty stuck too, but since this one is turning, we'd have to cut it off. So that'll be a job for another time. Anyway. Let's get on to putting the wheels on. Thank <laughs> you. 
I know we didn't get much done today, but I figured I'd give you guys an update video. And if you like this, and I'm definitely going to be doing more update videos, so if you like this, definitely give it a like. And also comment what other types of videos you want to see. Probably related to cars and my car, of course. And also I'm probably going to upload my YouTube videos to Twitch and stream probably mainly car gaming there try to build that channel so definitely go check that out and my other social medias I'll, I post a lot more on Instagram so definitely check that link out and join my discord server too you can ask me on the fly about my car I mean you could on other social medias too but yeah join my discord server as well and someone blast music from across the street that'll be about it for today and so see you guys next time I think um, I don't know what the next video will be maybe getting the car running even so that'll be exciting and I'll definitely film when I drive it too so make sure to subscribe too to keep updated and I think I've covered all the bases so I'll see you guys next time